Hey everyone, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap with Close to My Heart, and we are here with Throw It Together Thursday number 28. That means we've been doing this for over 28 months. That's crazy. Oh, mm -hmm. That's crazy. Don't mind our bad hair day. No, it's it's humid out. This very... is what happens when it's humid out. <laughs> it's gross. Um, but today we are going to be throwing together the last four techniques, and you're gonna see what we create with it. So here we go. All right. So today we're going to be doing the fussy cutting of the PML cards, the Northern Lights technique, the pinwheel thin cuts, and then our black inks. Um, so we are actually going to be showing you the regular black ink, just to show you that, because we didn't show it to you on Tuesday. And don't mind my voice, because I sound like a frog. <laughs> um, but what we're gonna start is, I have a five by seven piece of white daisy here, and I'm gonna do the Northern Lights technique on here, with the colors of the blue skies. All right, so there we've got our Northern Light technique, but in a rainbow feel. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over the edges with the sapphire, just like I would have done with the normal Northern Lights with Aurora. All right, so there's our Northern Lights technique with just the um, the blue skies colors, which are really cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm, instead of doing the mountain along the bottom because I'm not doing a mountain scene here, um, I'm actually going to take, this is a PML card that we fussy cut during National Scrapbooking Day. So as you can see, I cut out the little butterfly that was on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to first take my charcoal and I'm going to do the Northern Lights technique with the little butterfly. So just trying to see because I can still cut a few things out of here. So I'm gonna try to avoid some of these spots as much as I can. Also, if you wanted to put some washi tape down on here so it doesn't move on you, feel free to do that. But basically I'm gonna just take my charcoal ink and I'm gonna daub the center, just so we get that lighter effect in the middle here. And then I'm gonna take my black ink, which is broken. <laughs> so don't mind our black ink. But we wanted to show you black ink today um, because we didn't show it to you on Tuesday. So this is what the black ink can do. Just like this is a type of project that you would use the black ink on because we're not coloring or anything like that. And then I just want to pull in from the sides, leaving a little bit of that charcoal. And because this is cut so close to the edge of the PML, just be careful with that. And just because of the nature of the color, I'm going to just go over it one more time with the charcoal in the middle to make sure we got that gray. Looks like I missed a small spot. All right. Ready? Ready for the big reveal? Yes, I am. So, so cute. Pretty. So obviously I didn't think about it before I did this, but I could have cut out around the antlers on here. I could just take a black marker and add little antlers, right? That would be mm -hmm. cute. But we could do this in a few different spaces, and then we'd have a beautiful butterfly card. But there you have it. You've got this awesome Northern Lights technique with our fussy cutting of the PML, and I can still use the others because our paper's so thick the ink didn't even go through it. Um, Oh, and we wanted to add the pinwheel as well. So, just add a cute little pinwheel anywhere on here. Honestly, the pinwheel, even if like you're giving this as a gift, it could be the bow on the gift, mm -hmm. right? But, looks cute. The pinwheel's just cute by itself, too. That was kind of just a, yes. a, a technique Tuesday that we wanted to just show you how the pinwheel worked because it was going away. But, that is Throw It Together Thursday. And that's Throw It Together Thursday. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, please let us know. We just thought it was fun to show you a different way that you can use the Northern Lights technique mm -hmm. and make it look really cool. So that was a five by seven that we created on, um, which could be used obviously as an accent page and a flip flap maybe, anything like that. On, or you can make a five by seven card. Um, so anything like that. 
So feel free to use that technique with a bunch of different things and we would love to see your techniques too. So tag us if you decide to get creative with it. Also remember that not this weekend, but next weekend is our virtual crop, June 5th to the 7th. So we will be talking more about that on our Facebook Lives this week. Um, if you get your order in now, hopefully it will get to you. They're a little bit behind in the home office. Mm -hmm. um, but we're hoping that they get things out a little bit quicker. And if not, um, our videos still will be up there. So if you get things after the crop and um, you want to crop, crop with us, but you just don't have your stuff yet, don't worry, the videos will still be up there. So don't worry about that. And our July weekend, also we are working on, we will be getting more information out hopefully this weekend. So keep looking forward to it. Um, and our Craft With Heart cards, cards? I think, yes, I put the scrapbooking up. The yes, card yes. one video will be coming out very shortly too. So anything else? I think that just about covers it. All right, we've got tons of mystery hostesses this week or this, this month. month. <laughs> um, so make sure you stay tuned to our Facebook Live. If you aren't following us, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash just say scrap. Right here, follow this. So, all right, see you on Tuesday. Bye. Bye. They look so gross. Starting over. <clears throat>